Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Billboard Generator to generate a billboard for a 3D model inside of Unity 3D. So first of all, you go to the asset store and after purchasing the asset, you click on download and import. I have already downloaded it, so I just need to import it. After you download and the import dialog opens up, select everything. You may ex exclude the documentation if you want. Click on import. Once the asset is, imp is imported, you will find a folder called pre Plugins, Winterbolt Games, and two folders, one called Billboard Generator and another called Utilities. Both of them must stay inside the Plugins folder and both of them must exist, otherwise you might get some errors in the console. In that case, you need to re-import the asset. Uh, after the asset has been imported, you go to the Tools, Winterbolt Games, and Billboard Generator. An empty window will pop up and will ask you to drag and drop objects here. Let's start the window somewhere. I already have a binary model in the scene over here. It's from a Laxer tree package on the asset store. Link will be in the description. Let's go to the billboard generator window, drag and drop the bind tree, and click on the uh, item that will appear in the list. You will see that there is a field called settings asset. It requires a generator settings asset. In this case, to create one, right click on your project folder, select create and billboard generator and then select generator settings asset. Let's name it tree or bind tree settings. Save the project and drag and drop it into the settings field. Some other buttons will appear, but first we need to tweak our settings. Select the object in the uh, project window or double click on it and then open your inspector. Some options are going to be confusing so let's explain all of them right now. Directions is how many faces or how many directions the camera will capture the object from. For example from here, here, here. So we'll have like 36 directions or let's do like 72 maybe. The texture width and texture height is how wide and how high the texture per frame or per face that's captured will be. I'm going to use 256 and 256. Uh, the use main camera option, we will explain this later. Let's just go to straight to texture background color, which is the background of each generated frame. Let's set it to a white transparent color. Otherwise, you might get some strange artifacts. Use orthographic camera it lets you choose whether the generator will use a an orthographic camera or a perspective camera. In our case, we want a perspective camera, so we're going to leave this option unchecked. Let's set the field of view to 60. The camera clear flags is the uh, whether the camera will render the sky box, the background color only, the depth only, or nothing. In our case, we want it to just use a solid color or color which is this color over here. The camera offset is where the, where the virtual camera will be when it's generating the uh, billboards for the object. So in our case, I want it to be at the same position as the main camera. So this is going to be 10 on the Y axis and negative 20 on the, the V axis. So let's go again to our settings asset and add these values. So Rotate on X, Y, and Z axis are options. For example, if you want to generate a billboard by rotating around the object on the Y axis, you tap on Y axis. If you want to generate on the X axis, which means rotate around the object on the X axis like this, you select rotate on X axis or rotate on Z axis, which is like rotating the camera itself like this. you'll use the settings depending on your needs you can combine them but in our case we're going to just use rotate on y axis so after you have tweaked your settings you just save the project to make sure everything is not going to be lost go to the billboard generator and click on generate atlas once the generation is complete it will ask you where would you like to save the generated atlas and texture in our case we're going to create a new folder and call it billboards open it and just select it 
inside that folder two new assets will be created the atlas for the texture and the atlas texture itself if we maximize a little bit you will see that the tree is captured from different directions and let's change the setting to settings of the texture to make it non power of 2 to none no map maps or you can keep map maps on it doesn't matter in my case I'm just going to leave it off I'm going to set the filtering to trilinear the compression and set the maximum texture size possible we may reduce this later so just keep this like keep this like this right now um, the wrap mode we will always need to make it clamp and let's apply this as you can see our atlas maximum size is around 4096 so we're just going to do this and let's apply again once we have done this let's go and create a new material and call it line tree billboard material for example let's select an omelet shader which takes in a texture and let's assign the atlas texture so let's make it on light transparent so that the texture appears on the material transparent you may use any other th any other shader it doesn't actually matter but we are using unlight transparent for performance we don't like need any lightning or <coughs> excuse me shading on a billboard so we'll just use unlight transparent once you have done this let's disable our pine tree object and let's create a pine tree billboard or imposter if you would like let's just go with billboard let's reset its position so it's at the center like the pine tree let's add a component called add component runtime billboard renderer let's select this one the target let's set the target which is the um, object that the billboard will look towards which is usually the main camera let's use the material that we just created and assign it to the material field let's assign the Pine tree atlas to the by the atlas field over here that's the one that we just generated as well and the update and render are two fields that you can disable or enable depending on your needs uh, if you disable update the billboard will just not update at all if you uncheck render this will prevent the billboard from rendering which you, you might use in some cases for example if the billboard is invisible but this is done automatically so this has some specific use cases in the console you might sometimes find an error that says null reference this is because um, currently the preview requires the object to have an atlas assigned and if it doesn't it will throw an error this is fine this won't cause any errors at runtime but as you can see once we have assigned our atlas we have a tree object over here which if we move will change the texture or the displayed face depending on the angle towards the target let's see where the main camera is it's over here okay let's move our object as you can see it's changing the angle and texture depending on the direction so to get a better view of um, the result let's run the game I have created a simple camera script on my object which just allows me to move the object around let's maximize and let's lock the mouse yeah, the can, as, as you can see the uh, tree is changing the billboard while we are moving around it you might notice that the, uh, uh, the tree has quite a stretch around it this is because the um, the renderer scale is automatically calculated but it's not that accurate right now because the offset around the sorry the empty space around each frame so to fix this you might want to increase or decrease it i would like to increase it a little bit to see the result yep, this is much better as you can see it got bigger now let's go and select our main camera and run the game again let us maximize And as you can see everything is working as intended so that's pretty much it i hope you find this video useful and if you have any questions i will leave a link to the official um, 
channel discord in the description and if you have any questions you can post them there or in the comment section thank you for watching and i will see you later